What are the implications? Number one, we have no teachers on this issue. I am not a teacher. I am a student, and I'm challenging all of you to become students of this rapidly changing ecology of recovery in the United States. We need to understand the indigenous recovery capital within each of our communities that is far beyond the recovery fellowships that exist and begin to figure out how do we begin to integrate those into treatment. We need to extend the service design of addiction treatment from an emergency room model to a model of sustained recovery management and that process is very much underway in the United States. Number three is we need to move beyond the issue of reduction of pathology and begin to talk about this concept of recovery capital. How do we begin to build recovery capital, meaning the internal and external resources that people can mobilize to initiate and sustain long-term recovery? And talk about family recovery capital and neighborhood recovery capital and community recovery capital. That means we will be blending models of clinical intervention and therapy with models of cultural revitalization and community development. So we're going to begin to reintegrate people whose jobs are to organize recovery support services within our local communities. Number five, and that is we're going to begin to look for potent combinations and sequences of clinical and non-clinical recovery support services that dramatically elevate long-term recovery outcomes greater than if people only had one element of those. What we're looking for is the equivalent of, we're looking for the AIDS, the psychosocial equivalent of the AIDS cocktail. Do you understand? Where individual elements were found to, to, to have very limited power but when we combine and sequence those, we get dramatically elevated power and potency of those interventions in terms of recovery outcomes. Finally, and I think this one is gonna be very difficult for us, and that is the issue of how do we move from people going through our programs, quote, unquote, to how do we begin to develop an ever-expanding menu of, of ideas and metaphors and stories and interventions and support services that can be uniquely combined in sequence to deal with the incredible diversity of the people that we have entering our programs. In closing, I want to say one thing. The entire, my, my entire presentation reflects, I hope, a sense that we are on the brink of moving from a pathology paradigm and a treatment paradigm as the center of the field to a paradigm of recovery. What some of you don't know in this room is that you will go, some of you will go on in the city of Boston, in the state of Massachusetts, and nationally to help lead this movement. And for those of you in this room, I wish each of you, and particularly those of you who may not know it, but your destiny is tied up with this larger movement that is now unfolding. I wish all of you Godspeed on your journey into this recovery frontier. Thank you so, so much for the invitation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You got that money standing ovation. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you.